good morning everybody so as you can tell i've literally just woken up um i whitened my teeth last night and i actually do think it helped for some reason since having my invisalign i just felt like my teeth were getting like yellower and yellower but they're white again now so um anyway um so i thought i'd do a little daily vlog today because it is such an exciting day i am so excited i have waited like three months for this day and the day that it is is new bed day it's new bed day today so i've got a really really busy day i'm gonna eat i don't even know what i look like right now i've got i'm gonna go and make my breakfast um and then i want to quickly pop to lakeside I want to do a Primark haul and I also want to, I should, I want to do a Zara haul but I'm not even going to go in there. I'm going to literally go in Primark and then I'm going to leave. I want to go to Dunelm. I want to go to Ikea to get some storage boxes. Um, it's all very productive and then I've got my Botox top up in my armpits. Um, later on this evening what 4.45 so I'll take you along to that I am doing a separate video on that where I give you all like the details for everything but um, yeah so I've got that and also yeah my new bed's coming oh my god so you can have a little sneak preview of that but I am doing a bedroom transformation so I don't want to show you too much um, yeah so I'm going to go make my breakfast I need to tidy this my room because i feel like the thing is i need to go and get like bed sheets and stuff i've got i've got like a duvet cover but i need like you know the bed sheet and the pillowcases because um i just don't want to put anything old on my bed do you know what i mean when it comes i want my bed to do you know i want it to be like basically done like i don't want anything old i don't want any of my old shit that i had on my bed i don't want any of that i just want it all fresh all new and yeah so that is the plan today i also might buy a rug depending on what it all looks like when it comes so yeah i've got a busy day um yes yeah, so i should probably get cracking i need to film a plt haul as well which is all that down there I've actually got a suitcase that I need to empty. There's a lot to be done. So this is just going to be a spend the day with me for a very busy day. Hopefully it's going to be productive. I need to get everything done. I don't really have a choice. My bed is coming between three and six. So I need to obviously be home and my room needs to be cleared by three. Um, which leaves us six hours. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three. Yeah, I've got six hours to do everything else that I just said I needed to do. So I need to go. Hello everybody. So I have come home. I did a massive, massive Primark haul. Um, I've got like two two huge bags. I didn't go to Dunham with them because I managed to get some sheets in Primark. So I probably will obviously get Dunham like nicer ones. Um, they're just like bed sheets. I already have my like duvet set. I just wanted like under sheets. Um, I need to wash my hair. I need to... I already had, what is that? I had a shower this morning and I debated, do I wash my hair or do I not? It didn't look that greasy. And isn't it always the way you start your day and then it just turns so greasy and I'm like, I really should have washed that. And I have filming to do today, so I now need to get in the shower and wash my hair. Um, I'm just sorting out my room and tidying it. So one that I can film and two, when my bed gets here, it's cleared. Um, so I'm going to do a quick little time lapse. Yeah, I need to get cracking. I've got so much stuff down there for a giveaway. I just need to get cracking. Look how much mess there is everywhere. Like, just so much mess. And I need to film all this. And um, yeah. So I'm going to crack on with that. Okay, room basically cleared. It will do. Right, yeah, room basically cleared. My bed is going to come while I am out at my appointment, which is annoying. So my mum has to deal with that and bring that in. Um, so I'm going to leave now, otherwise I'm going to be late. Of course, I'm going with wet hair because what's new? 
Uh, outfit of the day is literally nothing special. Primark jeans, a race for top, and I've just put this PLT Cardi on top, and I've got my Air Forces, which I haven't even done up. Um, I need to leave, I need to leave. Why do I leave everything last minute? Get my phone. Maybe I could put a little gold chain on. This chain, everyone always asks me, it's PLT, I actually need to get a new one. And then my hoops are Balenciaga. Phone, you guys. Um, I don't actually know if this vlog is gonna go anywhere because I feel like I haven't actually recorded anything. Right, I need to just make sure no one can moan at me for not having space in my room. That's gotta be enough space for my bed. Maybe I should just move this stuff. I mean, that's fine. Let's just push that to one side. There we go, lovely. Okay, so I've just arrived at Perfectly Aesthetics Clinic. They are based in, um, it's like East Woodley area in Essex. Um, obviously, I have actually filmed a separate video on what treatments I have had done um, and all my details for everything will be over there. Um, but yeah, I'm just waiting to make sure that I can go in. So I will see you when I probably look like I'm gonna have little nap bites on my head because this eyebrow's going up too high, so we need to fix that. And also, I'll see my armpits, but you won't be able to see that anyway. Okay, so just got home from Perfectly Aesthetics. Literally wasn't even in there an hour. Um, I had, obviously, as you can see, my armpits are a little bit sore today. Um, had my armpits topped up. That is actually um, the treatment called hyperhidrosis. It's pretty gruesome. Not gruesome, but it's like a million injections per. Oh my god, I've left breasted you on a box and it all went high. Um, yeah, so I had that done. I had my Botox topped up. This eyebrow was raising a bit higher. Um, so she literally just put one injection there, one injection there, and then a tiny little one there. Um, and it is officially bedtime. I have been waiting. So my bed I ordered from Arista Living and I've waited three months for this bed and it said it was going to be here yesterday. No, it said it was going to be here Thursday. Then it said Friday. Then it said yesterday. And now it, um, and then it says like today. Um, and then it said, it was going to be here at 3.40, then it said it was going to be here at 5.20, then it said it was going to be here at 5.50, it's now 6 o'clock, it's not here, however, I've like tracked them on this little like map, and they're literally on my road, so, the bed is coming, and then I've got to put it together, um, woo, it's all fun and games, <laughs> and there we go, that, my friends, is my bed somehow okay guys progress the bed has been made um i think i'm gonna continue this vlog on to tomorrow because i feel like i've literally not picked up the camera today um, and i'm just gonna pop out now so i will see you guys in the morning and we get to finally dress my bed and stuff and i'm so excited the only thing is this is so low down like it's literally so low but i'll get over it Hi guys, I won't lie to you. I won't lie to you. It is uh what day was I vlogging? Tuesday. It's now Friday, so it's a couple of days later, and I'm only popping on to show you this because then I'm actually heading out to work. So I was uh, this morning I have been at Harrods Beauty event and I've got so many goodies to show you. So oh I don't know where to pop it, maybe no. here. Bit wonky, but we'll go with it. Um, yeah, so I went to Harry's beauty event. Are you gonna focus on my face? It's so rude. There we go. Um, yeah, so I went to Harry's beauty event and just got so many goodies. So the first thing that I got, I was able to choose my own lipstick from Gucci. Um, I've never had a Gucci lipstick before. And I got a, ooh, a little mascara. Um, I got a tester of a Dior foundation that I really wanna try. And then the lipstick that I picked up 
was penny beige in the satin finish now i've never had a gucci lipstick oh my god i feel so extra and bougie right now um comes in a stunning case and it is this color which is just a bit of me really isn't it absolutely stunning and it even obviously has um where is it you can't see it ah oh. gucci engraved on it you couldn't see that but anyway so that was the first thing that i picked up absolutely love that <clears throat> and then um i actually so we got a gift card as well with a hundred pounds to spend which is just amazing and i've got some money left on it but i picked up another um flawless finished powder in the shade medium two from charlotte tilbury and i also picked up the um giorgio armani luminous silk foundation i've not tried this before and i've wanted to try it for so long i got it in the shade six which is this shade here here you can't really see because it actually is a really really good color match um yeah so 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 excited to try this um, and then again i just got some testers in there as well but they also gave us this oh my god oh no oh no and um, they also got gave us this massive bag so inside the bag we have another bag but loose inside this bag we have got the Soul the Gin, I don't even know what it is, um, Brazilian, bu Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I'm guessing that's to like help tackle cellulite and t tone your booty. We have got the AHA Peeling Solution from The Ordinary. I already have this and I absolutely love it to death. Um, and we've also got a Charlotte Tilbury Instant Magic Facial Face Mask. Oh, like a little Harrods Beauty, like little purse. We've got um, oh my god, how do I even get into this? This is exciting. Oh, it's all like done up really nicely with a little sticker. But you just hate opening things when they're done up nice there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so we have got a Master Lab Hydronic Acid Hydrating Mask. We've got Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Eyeshadow. I have wanted to try these for so long. Um, we've got a Darfin Darfin in intro relief soothing serum we've got a rodeo skin tightener hyaluronic acid we've got anastasia beverly hills brow wiz yeah we've got that that's a cool little present we've got the lancaster tan minimizer one month tan prolonging that's very handy we've got some isla lashes we have got a NARS <coughs> Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Dragon Girl. Is that going to be like a reddy orange colour? Yeah, red. We've got a Kiehl's Creme Le Creux, a cleanser. We've got, what is this? Tata Harper Moisturising Cream. Um, Petite Amy Skincare Lip Mask. Uh, do Power Infusing Concentrate. I don't know what that is. Um, Glow Alchemist Scented Candle. Ooh, let's see what this smells like. Oh, that smells lovely. Very nice. We've got an Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. Oh my god. Oh my god. Very cute. Um, Laura Mercier. Is this a mascara? Yeah, Laura Mercier Mascara. Um, La Rouge 
um, scrunchie. I think this is going to be a red lipstick. Um, we have got Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. That is actually one of my favourite cleansers ever. So I absolutely love that. Um, Nightly Balloon Serum from Revive. Gold Faden MD Brightening Exilla for problematic photo damaged skin. I don't even know what that is. It says some kind of cream. I don't know what that is. Hydrate and Nourish Skincare Supplement. By Terry Mini To Go Lip Balm. Oh my god, this looks stunning. I've wanted, I've been wanting to try um, By Terry stuff. They actually sell that in there. I feel like this is going to be really lovely. Mm, that smells nice. Um, we've got a another like hydrating serum and then we've got a little tiny bio effect for improved appearance of skin serum and then last but not least we've got a little Burberry box and it is a little perfume let's see if it actually smells nice No, it's quite nice actually. I'll tell you what is a really, really nice perfume that I've never smelled before. Um, that was a lovely present. Um, oh, I don't think she wrote it down, but it's a Dior one. It's the Dior Oud one, and oh my god, it's insane. It's on one of those things, and it's all I can smell. Um, so I got that, absolutely spoiled. I might as well just put everything in my bag. Um, and then I also, I didn't eat this while I was there. I should have taken you with me, to be honest, but I didn't. I didn't even think about it, I was in such a rush this morning. Um, this like chocolate, chocolate, lips it was called like a chocolate kiss and it was from the um their like dessert section in their champagne bar i just feel on drop chair um but yeah i just wanted to show you guys my little bits because i was absolutely spoiled and um, but yeah i'm gonna check in back in with you next week and we'll do something interesting and this vlog will just go into like a weekly vlog um but yeah I'm going to have a nap and then I've got work so I can't see you later. Hello everybody. So, I would be, hey look at me in there. Oh. Um, I'd be lying to you if I said that it was like the same day. Uh, actually it's a different month. It's been like three weeks since I started that vlog and I feel like because I did vlog, I should, you know, I use that footage anyway because it's interesting. Um, but I thought I would finish it today because I have just, well, I've been to the gym this morning. That's, I'm so tired. I was up at 6.40 and I went to the gym. New lockdown is happening on Thursday and I thought I need to make the most of the gym. And I also need, so I keep getting distracted. I had a blood test and I've got a really bad bruise. Um... Uh, yeah, so I need to get prepared for lockdown. So I thought, let's do a little vlog of me getting prepared. So I have just been to the gym. I'm going to go every day until Thursday. Um, I'm going to get showered. I actually dressed up as Harley Quinn for Halloween. And you can't really see it, But in certain patches of my hair, it's pink and green. It's stained. So I've got to try and get that out today. Um, I'm meeting Beth for lunch. We're going to go to Wagamama's for lunch as our last lunch together. <laughs> um, and I need to get stuff that I'm probably going to run out of, like makeup wipes, tampons, you know, the usual things that you're probably going to run out of. Um, deodorant, shampoos, any hair masks I want, all stuff like that. So I thought I would just take you along. I actually just got... Um, I just got home from the gym and my glossy box has come you can actually use Amy Coombs as a discount code if 
off your first box, get money off your first box. Um, got an eyeshadow palette, unfortunately that has smashed. But that's okay, those colours look gorge. Um, and then we've got like a hair mask, which I'm gonna need after bloody trying to get this colour out of my hair. Uh, face mask, face mask, and a brush. I love spectrum brushes. Um, I've also just whipped up my breakfast on that porridge hype. And yeah, I'm just gonna eat that, then I'm gonna try and sort my hair out. Okay, so here goes nothing. I've mixed hot water with washing up liquid and I'm gonna just dangle my hair in it and then wash it and then I'm gonna follow it with head and shoulders and hopefully it gets it out. I will report back once I am out of the bath. The bubbles are mad. Okay, so showered. It doesn't look, I don't know if you can see, but it's like still got that like salmony pink color. I'm hoping when it dries, you can't see it as much. This side doesn't look that blue anymore. I'm just having a mare. I just want it to go back to normal considering I literally had it colored like three days ago, not even that. Um, but I've just been listening to Ariana Grande's new album and safe to say, I absolutely love it. Um, I'm just going to get ready for going for lunch now with Beth and I am going to catch up on the Great British Bake Off. So I will see you when I'm ready because I am running a little bit late as per usual. Guys, look at this Halloween cookie I got. It weighs, not even joking, like a kg. It's got dairy milk in it. I know Barney Bear with his throat sliced. It was a Halloween cookie from Bite. Um, honestly, best cookie shop ever. If you're in Essex and want to travel to Ravy to get a cookie, I highly recommend. We're going to get a banquet today. I'm so excited about it. So the edamame has just come. <laughs> what did she do? She ate the whole thing. <laughs> Literally food bomb. Take no prisoners. <laughs> oh, we also got peach iced tea. Ice tea. This is the best. Mm, mm, mm. The cod motang soba. Yours looks so much prettier than mine. Mm. So I've just had a lovely lunch with Beth and a catch up. Um, I actually just drove to Basildon Shopping Centre as well because I swore that there used to be a Ultimate Hair and Beauty here. Um, and I really, really wanted to get a new white gel before like everything shuts. Do they have one in here anymore? No, they don't. So I've just drove here for no reason. So I'm gonna go home now and I'll get the gel tomorrow because I've got to shoot tomorrow that way. So I'll just go to the one on South End. But yeah, I feel like I look well different today. I don't know what it is my frizzy hair so you can see it's just got like it's not pink anymore like I know it's not like bright pink but it has just got a pink tinge um and this side this side's actually all right this side's just like quite silvery white now because I put a lot of silver shampoo on it it's just this side's got that like pinky tinge but it is what it is hopefully it'll wash out soon because I'm actually getting my extensions back on Wednesday I know bit ironic because of lockdown but maintenance is like six to eight weeks so we will be out of lockdown by then um but yeah anyway i'm gonna go home and sort my life out pretty much hello everybody so i feel like it's been a while since i checked in with you guys i what have i done Oh yeah, so I went to Basildon to get um, the gel and they didn't have it. So annoying. Um, the shop wasn't even there, so God knows when that went. But I came home and I was absolutely knackered because like I said, I was at the gym. My alarm went off at 6.40 this morning. 
I was so tired. So I literally came home and fell asleep. I've just woken up. Went with um, my friend, got an Oasis from McDonald's, which is a game changing drink because I never used to order that. I got it the other day with McDonald's breakfast and literally I'm obsessed with it now. It's so nice. Um, yeah, and now I'm thinking what am I going to do, I was going to sit down and edit this vlog and then I was like, I don't really know if this vlog has really got anything in it. I know I said it was going to be like a preparing for lockdown, but then I was thinking like, I get that obviously lockdown is happening, this is going up on Wednesday, so lockdown is happening tomorrow, so today is the last day of freedom, technically, when you're watching this. Um, but I was like thinking, oh, I need to go and get makeup wipes, I need to go and get this, I need to go and get that, but supermarkets and like super drug and boots are still going to be open because they sell drugs is that right this is what beth told me anyway she said that places that sell drugs and like medication and stuff like that will still be open so obviously if not i can get everything like that that i need from a supermarket when i go and do like my weekly shop um so i think i'm like I just kind of went into panic mode, I think. Like, I don't need to panic that much. There's nothing that I need. Do you know what I mean? For lockdown, I don't need anything. Um, but, with that being said, I do just want to say, obviously, it's happening again. We are getting locked down for four weeks. Potentially could be extended, who knows. But, um, I just want to say, we got through the last one. We will get through this one. If you need to talk to anybody and you don't feel sorry, my camera cut me off. Um, if you need to talk to anybody and you feel like you can't talk to necessarily a family member or a friend, maybe you need someone who's not close to you or some or anything like that, or if you just want to talk to me personally, please DM me. I always check my DMs, like please just DM me and say I'm feeling a bit down can we have a chat blah 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 we can have a chat like I, my dms are always open for everybody um i know it can be a really really tough time you can't see your friends you can't see your family and um, we've done it before we can do it again it's gonna be fine we're gonna get those tie-dye kits back out we're gonna get our baking trays back out and we're gonna do our little home workouts maybe if you are looking to get into like fitness and stuff then Courtney Black's home workouts saved my life during the last lockdown so I would definitely I'm gonna be doing her workouts again um, I still do them now but I'm gonna literally be like going hard with those again um, yeah and I just I'm gonna try and carry on my videos I'll go back to my vlogs like I did during lockdown as well so that I know everyone said that they enjoyed them so I will definitely go back to those for this um, hopefully I'll be trying to do some Christmas content my I want my page to be completely corona free. I don't want it to be focused on the lockdown. I don't want it to be focused on anything that is going on in the world because we all know that it's happening, but it's everywhere and it's almost like you can't escape it. So I want my channel to be somewhere that we can escape it and we can just forget about it for five minutes, 10 minutes and just find a little bit of inner peace. Um, but yeah, we can do this. Um, I just want to send lots and lots of love to everybody and thank you for watching this video thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed then make sure you do F uh, follow me over on Instagram as well I'm so close to 10,000 followers um, so if I hit that within this lockdown then some, there's going to be three prizes I've decided um, someone is going to be getting well three people are going to be getting a very nice little treat coming their way um, but yeah, stay strong, stay positive, um, don't put too much pressure on yourself, you don't need to get up and be productive, you don't need to be doing workouts, you don't need to be eating healthy, just make sure you get out of the house at least once a day, go for a little walk, just get some fresh air, I feel like fresh air can lift a mood or just get outside, just it just makes me feel so, better, so much better to go and sit in the fresh air, so yeah, just make sure you're getting out looking after yourself and do whatever you want to do don't worry about what everyone else is doing just do what's right for you um yeah so i know this vlog was a complete mashup probably the weirdest vlog i've ever done because literally i filmed like one week then i filmed the next week and now i've literally started filming three weeks later the weirdest vlog 
but anyway i hope you have enjoyed it need 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 the i hope you have enjoyed it nevertheless is that what i'm trying to say um yeah i hope you have enjoyed it and i will see you very soon for another video thank you so much for watching stay safe and i love you all a lot and don't forget what i said about my dms always being open because i don't want anyone to be silently suffering or bottling anything up or anything like that so please just message me if you ever need to um but yeah i will love and leave you i'll see you very soon for another video thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe follow me over my instagram and i'll see you very soon for another video thank you so much i love you guys bye